Seattle teenager is held hostage and beaten for hours. He says all because of the color of his skin. Good evening, I'm Sabra Gertz. And I'm John DiCepolo. Two men kicked and whipped the victim at gunpoint and said they singled him out because he's white. Como Force Joe Moreno spoke to the victim's friends and family. He's live tonight in West Seattle. Joel? Now, John and Sabra, the victim has no doubt that this attack was racially charged. Now, he says he was held down to the ground right here. He says one suspect was kicking him. Another pressed the gun to his head. And they say he deserved to be beat because he was white. Severe bruising covers Shane McClellan's face and head after he was held hostage and tortured for hours. His back bears the marks of a vicious whipping, and all because the West Seattle teen is white. He said that uh, when they were beating with his belt, he said, you know, I don't like white people. So he was walking back. The victim was leaving this man's house when he passed two suspects near a staircase. When he came to about here at the stairs, you know, somebody called up to him and they're like, hey, you got a lighter. But as McClellan walked over to help, the suspects jumped him. So after they beat him up over here, they started dragging him over here, talking stuff, you know, just like, yeah, dude, we're going to beat you up. We're going to, like, you know, we're not going to let you go pretty much, you know, we're going to have fun with you. That's when the racial taunts really began. The suspects pinned the team to the ground and started kicking him. They told him they were Bloods gang members, held a gun to his head, all the while saying they singled him out because he's white. That little hole right here, that's where he had his face, and they were just kicking him. They all sitting right here, and every time he started crying, they'd start kicking him in the head. And they put out they put out cigarettes on the back of his neck. The victim says the suspects also urinated on him and doused him in beer. At some point he passed out, and when he came two hours later, they were gone. The team got help from a passing driver and was rushed to the hospital. I don't think this was the first time. I mean, if it wasn't a shame, it probably would have been somebody else. Uh, active investigation. Seattle police have their bias crimes unit looking into whether this is a hate crime. They've got a couple of suspects in mind, and they're going to put together a photo montage to see if the victim can identify anyone. Reporting live here in West Seattle, Joel Marino, Como Morning. Well, and it's hard to look at those pictures of the victim.